Now we're going to do something for the first time here on Only Comics, a artist spotlight. Okay. Yep. So I have my man Chris here, who, like you said, if you, if you watched Whoa. the first episode, you remember him from that. But um, Chris has been working diligently on his own comic book. Just released, what, a couple weeks back? Yeah, released in July. In July. Released in July. Started shipping in August. Got it. So. Well, before we even get started, let everyone know where they can find you, follow you, if, if they like what they hear today and they want to get more information about your art. Uh, the best place to find me is Instagram, uh, Chris Boyle Art. Um, that's pretty much my main social media. I am on Twitter, too, under the same name. If you search Chris Boyle Art, you'll find me on pretty much everything, but I'm responsive on Hey, Chris, Instagram. can you spell that out, uh, especially yeah. your last name? C H R I S. B O Y L E A R T. And I do that because I can't spell verbally for some reason. Perfect. <laughs> I, I was going to ask. That was going to be my next question. Chris. I need the muscle memory of like right. actually, like, it, I, hey, I don't know. He but. can't spell verbally, but he can put together a hell of a comic yeah. book. That's so right. That's right. The first night. Um, don't, we're not going to do it. No spoilers because no, no spoilers. one, you know, Adrian's not read. I've read it. I nope. really enjoyed we'll the first issue. Um, and I gave it to my son who was 19 and his response, he texted me. So you know when your kids like you live in the same house and they text you because God forbid they came out the room, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean you know, in our day we just went out, right? You right, need something, right. you know. But he texts me, he's like, "Dude, this is awesome! This issue is fire! When's the next one coming out?" That's but, yeah, that's that's exciting. That's exciting to me. I've gotten because um, a lot of people have shared it with other people. Yep. Um, you know, the, I ran a Kickstarter for the initial launch of it, which was really successful. Um, I'm very lucky to say that. So I shipped books to california i shipped them across the street i, I nice. shipped them all over the country and it, it's really exciting now i've gotten actually like recognized in public now yeah i'll go to a store and they'll be like hey you're chris boyle you wrote the you wrote that that's book. awesome really like, that's it's, awesome yeah. it's a bit of an imposter syndrome kind of thing but i'm very lucky to be able to say, when you like, make it big about. just just remember us here at only comics oh yeah no i'm coming okay. back we'll yeah. review everything yeah uh, we'll review every book on only comics there we go yeah. So tell them, in a nutshell, spoiler free, give them some information about what the first night's about, who the main character is. Uh, the first night is about a lone warrior who has lost his way, he's lost his people, and he is going up against an, uh, the, the uh, big evil of his world uh, just as one man, as one man. He's going over uh, insurmountable odds, and mm. he's... he's basically reached his his breaking point on a lot of things and it's led him to do some some pretty desperate actions um so it's it's a big uh character piece on him but it's also a reflection of of me and kind of the um the theme of the story overall it's the first part to something that's much larger mm. um it's it's a little intro to a world that i kind of have lived in for a couple of years so got it um it's it's it exists in its form exactly how it was meant to. So okay. I, I tried to leave nothing off the table. When um, did you start working on this mentally? Um uh two thousand seventeen. Okay. Two thousand seventeen. Um the the f the first night, this story it's a one off kind of thing. I say that lightly because it's very connected to everything else. It's yeah. where the story actually begins. This is the actual start to the story. Got it. Um but the idea as a whole, I started working on in 2017, um, and it's just been a, a journey. It's been it's been one of those things where you you know, uh, it's kind of like the idea is driving the car. Yeah, you, know, you get in the car and you're not sh you're with your friend. You're not sure where you're going, but together we're we're going somewhere. So you just kind of nice. trust your friends. Got it. Got so it. It, it's it, it's been a journey, and it will continue to be a journey. But I'm I'm excited to finally have part of it out into the world. Um, it's, it's, it's crazy. It's under my copyright. Um, it's it, to, to be able to actually hold something in my hands that yeah. I like put out into the world. It, it's, it's a powerful, uh, feeling. So well, that's awesome. Well, I mean, you think six years working on it, right? Yeah. Whether, you know, now yep. was this, did you plan to create a comic book in the first place? Was it just a character you started drawing that then you said, Oh, you know what? I should turn this into a story. When I was younger, I always wanted to draw Batman. Okay. You know, I always wanted to draw uh, for DC Comics, doing Batman. That was yeah. the dream. And then, you know, you, especially in your late teenage years, you go through that phase where you're not really sure what you want to do. Yeah. You mm. know, we're the kids of America. Where are we going? <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> you know, so I, I, you know, eventually I stopped drawing and I didn't know what I wanted to do. And then I went, I was, I was having a rough time in college. Yeah. And I, I remember I went on a run one day and I just, this idea just like came into my head. 
and then I went home and I drew with at the time what was that character. Yeah. And, and then it kind of sparked everything else. And then then my dream became not to draw Batman. Then it became I want to make my story. Got it. I don't care nice. what form that takes. I don't care about the the financial aspect of that. You don't get into comics to make money. No. You know. So I just I know following this character will lead me somewhere because it because it. it has thus far. It's yeah. been six years and people hear six years and they're like, oh my gosh, like that's a that's a long time. But my career. Uh, you know, the, the my portfolio, everything has come out of following this idea yeah. in, in some capacity. So um, I I didn't know I wanted to make the story in its current form um, up until probably a year or two ago. Yeah. Um, I started working on the first night last year. Okay. Um, because I, I really sat down and decided that's where I wanted to start the story. Because I felt like if you like this, okay, now we can have some fun. Got it's it. it's like it's a test. It was a test for me to see if this crazy idea could exist and be well received. Yeah, you know. And I've I've been lucky enough. I've gotten emails. Uh, I've gotten DMs on Instagram or or Twitter with really kind words yeah. as to the. You can slide into his video. DMs with kind anytime. words. Is what he's saying. Anytime, yeah, anytime. they're open. I, I love to hear. It. <laughs> I love to hear. It. Just you know, the the more people that read and share the book, the the more my stuff gets out there, and you know the. It's, it's, it's wonderful to have my artwork being seen yeah. by people that fulfills a really big uh, goal that I've had, mm. but it, it's a little selfish because it's more for me to be able to finally hold this yeah. thing, sure. That's awesome. this piece of my personal history. Right. So you Chris, know? you, you're, you're on this run and this, you have this lightning bolt moment, I'm assuming. Yeah. Um, and you say you started out, you wanted to, um, draw Batman. And not pulling a DC and just like stealing from everybody else is your character based off of some other character, mm. um, or what? 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 Um, sparked you to create this particular character? So, specifically in the case of I'll, I'll um, the the this book leads to the whole main idea, and this book didn't the idea for this didn't exactly exist at that time, mm, but yeah. that character, which this leads to, um, it, it was probably a culmination of, of a lot of different pop culture things I was into at the time, mm. Batman and, and, and all these other things. I love that archetype. Yeah. That hero archetype of Batman, you know, the, the, you know, like a captain America is too perfect. Yeah. You know what I mean? I wanted yeah. a fallible character cause I, I am not a perfect person. So no, my, no, sorry, Chris. my characters <laughs> are a direct, uh, they're, they're reflective of me. Got it. Some Anything I write, I write about myself. So was your, are you the biggest inspiration for your character? Yeah. Yeah. It's a backdrop for me to be able to talk about whatever I want to talk about. Got it. And, um, you know, and, and make it relatable for, for other people, you know, having a character that goes through struggles and challenges yeah. and, and overcomes these things. There's this thing in comics where Spider-Man is everyone's. Uh, their favorite book to work on. Mm -hmm. It's also their least favorite because they're. Um, you have to be really mean to your main character. Yeah, you have to. Oh, yeah, you got to no put Peter wants, Parker through some shit. No one wants to see Peter Parker win all the time. Right, right. Everyone wants to see him beaten down, the underdog story, yeah. and then overcoming those those odds. Right. It's a really powerful thing. That's really that's something yeah. I, I hung on to for a, a lot. And then for the first night, um, Oba, the main character, he's kind of like my Optimus Prime. Okay. He's like that that beacon of hope. Yeah. Got you it. Know? So that that's what he serves in the per, in, in the story. And this main story cuz you said this a few times, this is the beginning. Yep. You know, this whole other, you know, the rest of the story yep. either planned, somewhat planned, kind of thought of yep. and is Opa is he the main character for this entire story? He is not. He's he not. Is, he is a pivotal character. Got it. He is a pivotal character. Okay. So, um his story is very much so relevant to yep. to the remaining. It, it is it is an introduction to everything. Got so it. It, it touches on a lot of points. Um, and it, it, it leaves it leaves a lot of cool set pieces yeah. out to to pick up again. And you know, like my mother asked me sometimes, she's like, Why is he hairy? Why is he full of fur? <laughs> Why does he have horns? I don't know. That's just it, it's hard to explain to people. These ideas pop into your head. Yeah. Right. You, I I don't know what goes into the character design sometimes. It's just how it exists. Yeah. So it's one of those things where I wanted to start here yeah. because if you, 
if you like this book mm -hmm. here, it's like, okay, now if they bought that, we can have some fun. Yeah, right, we, we right. can we can have some fun. So now. speaking of buying it, right? Now, we got some viewers here watching, right? If they want a copy of this, I mean, it, it, are there physical copies available to purchase? Is it digital? How could someone yep. who was not involved in a Kickstarter, if they want to purchase a copy? So I'm working on um, a more streamlined way of doing that. Yeah. Um, but currently, the best way to do it after the Kickstarter is to DM me on Instagram directly at yep. Chris Boyle Art, um, or just email me by the same name, Chris Boyle Art at gmail.com. Um, and uh, we could work on either getting you a digital copy or a physical copy I have to to ship out. Um, we're, I'm looking to streamline that a little bit yeah. more. Okay. I'm trying to look into different avenues um, as to where I want the digital to exist. Yeah. Um, looking at things like Amazon to purchase it on there. Got but, it. Uh, but for now, just reach out to you. For now, just reach yeah. out to me. Um, and, and very soon, we're going to have a new way of, of doing that. I'm looking to consolidate things into my website which will be great um so Got it. and we'll have some some new stuff available at, at some point in time nice too. well i'm gonna this is more just to brag because i did i was involved in the kickstarter so i got adrian check this out yeah, this this first night t-shirt right here signed by my man chris boy yeah. right? nice nice i got that I have the deluxe edition which there's a little like yeah. end there's like an end credit there's scene end almost credit. I, I have i have a Ooh, yeah. deluxe right there. Yeah, there's nice. a little bit of an end credit scene. It's funny, because so. I read, I was reading that one, and my son was like, I want to read it, and, you know, I have a, a few copies, so I gave him, you gave me a signed copy, yep. a regular one, and deluxe. So I gave him the regular one, mm -hmm. and then we're talking afterwards, and he's like, yeah, this part, that part. And I said, hey, do them in the end credits, I mean, he's got to be coming out with something soon. He's like, what are you talking about? So my my version didn't have that, and I was like, "Oh well, yep. mine did." And I'm yep. like keeping it away, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, and then also, I got this nice poster here, dude. Put this right. up in my office yep. upstairs. So nice, but dude, this is awesome. And you know Thank what's you. cool is um, I've known you a couple years now, two and a half years or whatnot, close to. So I remember you telling me you're you're working on a comic, and I remember you showing me some of these drawings. And in fact, like in your office, you have it hanging yep. on the wall. So it was cool from like the outside perspective to see, you know, because dude, I hear a lot of shit. Everyone's going to do everything, right? Yeah. Adrian, how many yep. times? T people to i'm gonna start a business i'm gonna right, do this right. i'm gonna lose five pounds yeah i'm gonna uh, stop smoking crack whatever it is dude it's all <laughs> people tell me all kinds of stuff yeah and right. they usually don't do shit i mean straight up so chris told me he's making a comic book and he actually did so i got to see a lot of this the process throughout so it was awesome to see yeah. dude yeah. And it's it's an accomplishment for me because you know a lot of people you want to get into comics there's not really it's it's there's not a a path to that there's yeah. not one path right you know and and i got to a point where i was I just wanted to just finally see my name on a book. Yeah. So I was like, you know what? I'll just do it myself. Right. I'll just do everything myself. And I told, was telling Adrian before, um, because it is copyrighted and registered, um, because it's a comic book, I, it goes into the Library of Congress. Wow. So they reached out to me, and I put, uh, there's, I send them two copies that will exist in the Library of Congress until this nation ends. That's awesome, dude. So right. Wow. In Makes me want to write a comic just for that. Like, <laughs> right, I don't even right. I don't I know am. why it's a bit, but like, I want to be in the Library of Congress. <laughs> right. So, so it's, you know, and it was, it was, it's a scary thing as an artist because you, you release something out there. Now, now you can't hide it anymore. Yeah. There's, you know, a lot of people, I think, they have these big ideas and then you finally go and you put it out there. Uh, the, that, that last step. Yeah. It's a big thing to yeah. overcome because mm. now you're not separated from this work. Right. For a long time, this was a very private thing that I worked on. For yeah. I would say five of those six years, it was just me in my head, in mm. my sketchbook, doing these things. Yeah. And finally, I went to people and coming to them with these ideas. Hey, this is what I'm working on. They're like, you should, you should take this somewhere. Yeah. So that was that was a big thing to finally separate my not separate myself from the artwork. Now this is Chris Boyle. Yeah. This is what he's about. He does this. Right. You know? A lot of people can uh, on that. A lot of people can't handle that ultimate scrutiny. You know, it's one thing to put something out. But now once you do, you open yourself mm -hmm. up to the world, to criticism, comments, things like that. So um, kudos to you, man. Yeah, I, I, it's inspiring. I hope other people do it, too. Um, I'm, I'm guilty, you know, of, procra of procrastination, yeah. pro procrastination, um, you know, uh, we all we all have things that we think about. No one knows right. what we're thinking about. But it's good to see that somebody you know, especially any that you are familiar with, um, that goes out and does something. So that's very inspiring, man. I've gotten some messages, and these are my favorite messages I've ever seen. There's just you doing this book inspired me to do X. Yeah, and to that's do awesome. this project. I don't care what your project is. I right. really don't care if you just do something for you. If you're mm. just putting anything out there. Yeah, you know, that's crazy to me. 
that's amazing. So uh, th- the fact that it's had that reaction on people is is insane. Yeah. And I'll forever be grateful for that. So I got one question for you, though. Yeah. Is Chris Boyle the mask? <laughs> or his first night the mask. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know. That's oh, a, that's, that's a toughie. That is. That's a toughie. You yeah. know what? Yeah, I think at this point in time, uh, I've finally felt like I've grown into the Chris Boyle name, whatever mm. that meant. Okay. And I think Chris Boyle has a lot going on, and um, it's hard. To, it's hard to boil it down to one oh, thing. I don't think it's the no mask anymore. Okay. I don't think it's I finally think so it used to be anonymous. Yeah. Wow. But I think with the release of this yeah. and with a few other projects I'm working on, I'm finally It's out. like a hot, you're like the smart Hulk now. Right. <laughs> they've, they've, they've combined, <laughs> right? Yeah. I yeah, I finally I'm finally out yeah. there. So. All right. Cool. Last question before we move on is so first issue, first episode, first comic. Yep. What's next? When's it coming? So what's next is is the the big story. Okay. And the big story is going to take some time. Got it. But I'm working on um, my my goal for 2024 is to write and draw a 100 page story. Okay. So to release in 24. Um, I would love to. Yeah. I would love to. Um, if I could get it out in 24, absolutely. Got it. But um, uh. I, I have some really big plans for this. Yeah, is what I will say. Some okay. really big goals, and it's nice. it's a, you know, Mike, you always told me have lofty goals, and I yeah. I definitely do for this project. And um, you know, I, I will say, I'm working very hard in on the stuff that's coming out. Good. And uh, I'm excited for it. I'm awesome. There's there's a lot there's a lot in store, and um, it's gonna be fun. Cool. cool. Well, congrats, dude. Thanks for coming in and sharing yeah. this, and Chris Boyle art. Drop him a follow, man. You want to? You want you. some of the art? You want to check out the book? DM, slide in the DMs. Slide into my DMs. Slide in the yep. DMs. Ask him, and, and he'll set it up. But great story. I recommend all y'all check it out. Um, and I can't wait to see you know where this thing leads Thank to. You.